Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to a Twisted League progress video. So the relic I will be choosing is the stamina one which gives unlimited run energy and also prayer drains is 50% I think. It seems really really good compared to the other ones. I mean at least for the beginning of the account. So I have read up on a bit of the things I want to do here so that was one of the first things and now I really want to get into the client of the current quest. So let's see if I can do that. I just want to see what the experience rates are. Okay, so 20 experience for a one hit, that means the experience are 5 times, so should be pretty fast. I think dead man mode is 10 times, I might be wrong on that, but regardless, uh, it is pretty fast compared to the normal game. So I needed a feather for the quest, so I just went all the way over here to the Kaibus or whatever it's called, uh, Woodlands, and got the feather. Now I should have everything I need. Pretty easy quest, especially with 100 run energy all the time, so let's complete the quest right here. And this unlocks a lot of the other sub-quests, or pretty much all of them. So here we go, let's see if the experience is 5 times on this as well. I'm gonna put it on Slayer. Yeah, it is, 2500 Slayer experience. Let's see what, where I'll end with 5k Slayer, actually. Um, I got 20 Slayers, I also did the uh, task thing for Slayer, which is pretty cool. And the 20% favor thing you get from the quest goes into this favor. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it is definitely the best choice for it. I wanted to do the Hosidius favor. I think that's what it is, this one at least. But all these ones are actually occupied. I looked at pretty much all the different worlds. And yeah, every single one of these are busy right now. So I'm not going to do this one. I'll go, I'm going to find another one to do. And uh, yeah, let's see which one that is going to be. So you actually unlock a weapon and armor store if you get some favor with the Shazians. So I'm just going to get 20% here so I can also after that start the Shazian quest. Unfortunately I need to kill like a level 46 in that quest so I can't do that just yet. But yeah it's really quick getting this 20%. Uh, I just need to put 200 of these med packs. If you get into the rhythm you can do two different ones all the time like look I put this one on now and then I go to the next one and I can instantly do it again so I can just uh, run between these two and it should go extremely fast. Roughly like 10 minutes only of doing these band-aids and I now have 20% favored completed. So as I mentioned I can't do the Shazian quest just yet but I can do the Queen of Thieves which is going to give me 2k coins as well that I can buy some equipment with from that Shazian store so I'm getting 25 cooking to be able to make the stew to do the Queen of Thieves. Getting some combat levels as well along the way which is really really nice. Uh, it took pretty much no time at all to get 25 cooking. You get 150 experience each. You buy a potato from the girl on the left here and then you put a cooked beef or whatever into it and I get burnt stew, unlucky. Second attempt, let's see if I can cook this one now. And I cannot. Third time's the charm. And uh, third... Oh, there we go, okay, 500 experience as well in cooking, that's crazy. And I had to get 20 thieving as well for the quest, I didn't know that, so I'm just pickpocketing men and there we go, I can now do the quest, let's do it. So also, after completing these mini quests, you get unlocks to teleport to the different areas of the map. So I'm going to have this thing, for example, you can see the Fisher's Flute in my bag now. And with that, I can put into the book that I got from the Client of Current, and I can now teleport to this area, which is really, really useful. With the 2k coins, I bought myself a black scimitar from the shop, and also you can buy an anti-dragon shield there, which is going to be very useful for Slayer in the future from killing dragons and getting prayer experience. Uh, I guess the steel items are a bit expensive, so I'll just buy all the iron ones and not discard the chain body. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see how this looks now. I'm insane. So for the Shazian quest, which is uh, the one I'm going to try to do now, I need 10 mining. So I just uh, mined an equal amount of copper and tin so I can actually use that for smithing in the future. But yeah, very easy to do 10 mining. Just casually killing a goblin to get my 20 attacks. I can get a mithril weapon if I want to. So you need a magic cast for this quest. So I'm going to buy a few mind runes so I can actually uh, use that and I don't splash on the item, which is uh, quite annoying if I would do that with one cast only. If you're doing this quest, always talk to the mountain guide when you get here, he can teleport you back here. The running here is a pain. Okay, so with my current gear, I did actually try to do this boss. It is weak to stab, so I had my black scimitar on stab, and it is pretty close. I mean, I got it decently low, like maybe halfway, so it is absolutely possible to do it. But I would probably have to get a mithril sword maybe from the shop now that I have a 20 uh, attack. So I would probably do thieving for the money and then buy that 
and I also need to get a full inventory of cakes probably uh, so that's what I'm going to have to try to do I did really well in the beginning as you can see on this clip but unfortunately I didn't have barely any food in my inventory I thought I could maybe flinch it but it is using ranged and all these type of things so also poison by the way which makes it even more annoying so I could not do that I think it's max hit is like six or something maybe five and then the poison takes for three so it's not really the strongest poison in the game far from actually but it can stack you pretty hard and it hits pretty consistently with the gear I have so yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get a mithril sword and uh, get some uh, food with cakes so I can have more. So I have 40 thieving now and I just pickpocketed some guards. I, I couldn't be arsed waiting to sell the silk. You have to wait like 30 minutes to be able to sell it. But yeah, I should be able to kill the lizard man now. With uh, pretty much half my inventory left with the cakes, or maybe a bit less than that, I am about to kill the boss. So it is definitely pretty easy to do. I mean, you could easily get the stats that I have in just a few minutes of training and then the money to buy the sword. So the quest really is not that hard to get by. These fabrics are going to be pretty good to use for magic gear. And now this is going to be the end of the quest. It is going to give me, I think, 8,000 coins and 10% Shazian favor. And obviously one quest point and the teleportation, which is always useful to this area. So I think that means I have two or maybe three, I think three quests left. The Lova Kenj, Hosidius and the Asherus. Looking like an absolute baller, I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I do absolutely love this game mode. Uh, having the faster experience rates actually makes it really really enjoyable and always there's something interesting to do. Uh, by the way, I realized that maybe I should not have done these two before I do the Arsherus. I mean, I've done the quest so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it in the end I've already gained the benefits really. But if you gain favor in this one, I can't pronounce. Uh, the other ones is reduced, I think. But I do need reputation or favor as it's called with this house to be able to use the rune shop and the staff shop. And the staff shop is really the interesting one because I will be training magic on moss giants, I think. I think that should be a good way to get my magic up and combat stats and also get some decent drops with it. Um, but to use this shop, I have to actually have the 20% favor. So I will try to do that in the beginning of the next video and we will see what happens to my other favors. But regardless, I hope you guys did enjoy watching this. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see the future videos I'll be posting in the Twisted League challenge, then uh, make sure you subscribe to know when I post them.